what's going on guys so doing something a little different this morning <laughs> this was really just a last minute plan kind of thing i am doing some freshwater fishing we're actually going to be fishing for largemouth peacocks clown knife and white bass now i don't know if we'll catch all of that but that is what's in the body of water that we're fishing today and this was really just such a last minute plan i don't even have any of my bait casters with me but not to worry i do have my tarpon rod and my giant bait caster my big calcutta with me for catching maybe at biggest five pound fish but we're gonna make do throw some spinning rods today i would like to hopefully catch maybe some peacock bass but i'll be happy catching largemouth and all that good stuff i have fished for peacock bass for only one time and i've caught one peacock bass and it was like three and a half pounds on an artificial on a top water so that's pretty cool but we're gonna see if we can maybe add a few more to my resume but it should be a good morning my mom's out with me she is holding the camera right now in the moment but we're gonna see if we can get her on some fish as well you know my parents are both really big outdoorsmen outdoors women and so they love getting out with me when they have a chance and so we are out here this morning and we're gonna see if we can make it happen all right got a seawall up in front of me it wouldn't feel right if i passed the seawall and i didn't fish it i'm gonna skip this airhead up against the wall and see if there's any uh large mouth or peacock hanging up against this seawall here or lake wall on oh it came off whatever it was i think i have a large mouth There it's fish. I think it's a largemouth. It's a decent sized fish. Unless you just weed it up. Alright, first fish in the morning. Beautiful little largemouth. Probably just a pound, pound and a half right there. Gold airhead. That's cool, man. It's a. Uh, cool to see there's some fish to be caught here at least okay, I'm getting followed there's a fish sitting right beneath me oh god oh that was a peacock bass a big one too god he was nuts. I started reeling it because there's a fish sitting beneath my boat. And I started reeling it. He didn't get any steel though. I was moving that quick when he crushed it. That was a peacock 100% though because I saw him come out of the water. I'm letting that sit completely still and something came up and ate it. I don't think it's very big, but I also have like 40 pounds of weed with it. <laughs> oh, it's a peacock. No, it's a Midas cichlid, actually. That's cool. Or a Mayan cichlid, I should say. Not a Midas. Midas are gold. Well, there's our uh, first exotic fish in the morning right there. I think this is a Mayan cichlid. I could be wrong. You guys can tell me what you think it is. Um, very beautiful. It's weird. I was letting this airhead sit on the bottom, and he came up and ate it right at the bottom. I'm surprised this thing even has a big enough mouth to eat that. I thought it was just going to be a little large mouth, but that's very cool. First exotic down right there. Oh, my God. That was a big peacock. He missed it. Still didn't have it. Still didn't have it. Oh, dude. That was a big fish. And he hit it twice, but neither time he actually even grabbed it. <laughs> Not quite what we're looking for right there. Second large mouth in the morning, little probably half pounder right there. He ate that on the drop, but we're still looking for that peacock. I definitely, definitely believe that that huge blow up I just had a minute ago was from a peacock, but 
didn't connect, unfortunately. I've seen a lot of clown knife fish as well, but they're definitely a, a little tricky to get to eat. All right, we've made our way into a little residential canal. There's a lot of shade, a lot of cover. This should be good. Ooh, I feel like I got hit right when that landed in there. Felt like it. That's the man. That's him. I think that's him. Yeah, that's him right there. Yes. I thought I got hit the first cast in there. Here we go. All right, first peacock bass of the day right there. A very beautiful female, light green on the line with orange bright fins. Awesome, awesome. I thought I got hit first, and I thought I got hit, and I threw right back under there, and she crushed it. That is a very beautiful fish. There she goes. You know, it's such a weird thing fishing around here. It doesn't even feel like you're in Florida anymore. And that's probably what's so cool about it. And if you look over my, my shoulder here, if you look right there, I got uh, some iguana buddies. There's three of them sitting behind me right now. And it's just such a weird thing. We're catching fish from the Amazon and there's wild iguanas running around. It's just a very cool place. And that's like one of just the awesome things about Florida is that, you know, this morning we were actually gonna go fish for tarpon and snook. And I looked at the weather forecast and it was blowing like 16 miles per hour at 6 a.m. And I was like, dude, I do not feel like getting blown around out in the river and big bay areas and just getting beat to death by waves. I was like, all right, we're gonna call an audible and we're just gonna go fish for peacock bass and largemouth. And that's why I don't even have like bait casts or anything. And I have tarpon rods with me, but it's actually very awesome. And just, it's a crazy thing. These just exotic species everywhere. I know it's actually not really a good thing for the most part, but it is very cool. Oh god, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Ooh, big one. God. Big peacock bass swung at it. Good lord. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a large mouth that time. Oh, there he goes right there. Oh, there's a big peacock bass. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. It's on the mount. Oh gosh, it's a big fish. Can we hand me the net? It's a big fish, guys. It's digging its head. I think it's a, it's gotta be a peacock bass. I didn't like that. Oh no, this is not what I need to be doing here. There you go. Good job, Mom. That is the one we've been looking for this whole time. That is the one we've been looking for that is probably about a three pounder. I don't know, that is a male. You see the big giant knob on top of his head right there. I just can't get over how beautiful the colors are on these fish. And that was the third cast with that new lure I put on. I'll show it to you in a second, but that is just a beautiful fish. And that is what we've been looking for all day. One around that size. That's just awesome or what? There he goes right there. So I'll show you what I'll start right here. A, uh, shiner right here just a little glide bait shiner it's a savage gear shiner and i've only had it on for probably four or five casts before i hooked up with that fish and i was just slow rolling it and he hammered it i mean huge props to to mom here for uh the net job because that was definitely difficult it's just so windy today even on this little body of water we're getting tossed around so that was definitely awesome a little bit of chaos on the little shiner we're going to keep throwing this and see if we can hook a few more big ones i'm pumped man i'm happy i'm happy with today I do. Very cool, isn't it? Oh my gosh! Did you see that? That fish went airborne to try to eat this along that dock piling. Oh, biggins. Biggins. Big monsters, dude. 
Come on, come on. Do you see it flashing? On, on, on. Oh, mom, do you want to take it? Just keep it tight, keep it tight. It's a big one, real big one. I'll get the net. If he tries to run, let him run. All right, mom's hooked up. We'll call this. Huge, right? All right, you can start bringing him towards me. Just keep his head down. If he tries to run, let him run. Don't reel. Uh oh. Oh, there we go, mom. That one's bigger than what I caught. <laughs> All right, there's my mom's peacock bass right there. Gosh, I think the toad. Why did I? That was awesome. And she fought it well. Made sure its head stayed down, didn't let it get unhooked right there. All right, we're gonna snap some photos of my mom's fish and we're gonna let it go. He was ready to go. All right, guys, I think we're gonna call it on that note. Well, after catching that last peacock bass, we decided it's time to call it and head in. You know, it was a very great day for being kind of a last minute plan. You know, originally we set out in the morning, we were gonna go fish for snook and maybe some tarpon and make an hour drive and go try to target some of those guys in a different location. And I looked at my weather when I got in the car and it was just already blowing 15 miles per hour at 6 a.m. And I was just like, I did not feel like getting beat around on you know, big open waters in a bay all day. So, called an audible side to head south and look for some peacock bass. And, you know, for a last minute plan, it was actually a pretty good day. Caught three peacock bass and two of them were really great size. And that was my second time ever fishing for peacock before, so it was very cool. I'll show you what we were throwing today. Well, at least what got the job done. Right here, little shiner. This is a Savage Gear glide bait little shiner right there golden shiner and that worked really well you know the presentation is a little big a lot of small fish would follow it out but the small fish would never swing at it but the big fish didn't have a problem eating it it definitely worked and then bait number two was a gold glitter doa cow swim bait right there rigged weightless and weedless and this thing got followed out so many times i had so many hits and blokes on it but I only caught one fish on it. I didn't hook very many fish on it either. And it's just a weird thing where they're really slashing at the bait. And most people throw jerk baits and prop baits for peacock bass, at least from what I understand, and some spooks and stuff like that. But treble hooks are typically necessary because peacock bass have a tendency to instead of eat the bait, they kind of just slash at it, and that's when treble hooks really help out. So I was getting absolutely massacred on this thing, but I just wasn't hooking any fish. But that's all right, maybe something smaller, but if you notice, gold was definitely the color for the day. I wanna talk about peacock bass really quick. A lot of you guys from Florida, you might know, but peacock bass are non-native, they're not invasive, but they're called introduced species, and they're introduced into Florida by the FWC in 1984 and when they introduced them it was underneath the guise of okay we're going to introduce these fish to help contain and reduce the population of invasive species mainly cichlids but we you know peacock bass are also a cichlid the main reason at least for what I think they actually introduced them to kind of import a new fishery into South Florida and help bring more commercial tourism down to South Florida and so you have a ton of people who travel to South Florida just to fish for peacock bass because it's a way to catch these really beautiful exotic fish without ever actually having to leave the country. I do believe they have them in Hawaii as well, but you know, what's it easier to get to Florida, Hawaii? But it's pretty cool. They introduced them, I'm saying, to contain and help limit the population of other invasive species by introducing another invasive like species. But they actually, what I was reading online, make more than $8 million a year off of peacock bass fisheries. So it's a pretty cool thing. But they're definitely an awesome fish. One of the most beautiful fish probably in the world. And the colors are just amazing. But today was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you. Until next time.